So hello everyone, thanks for joining my video poster presentation on how agricultural research talks of gender equality in coffee cultivation. So while women and their contribution to coffee gain visibility in research and in public debates, it still remains fuzzy how the scientific debate is structured. And to address this knowledge gap, I conducted a systematic scoping literature review of 98 scientific publications. And today's poster represents the general underlying structure of the current debate of this research field. So what I found was that the current debate is structured around three major narrative lines, which you can see at the very heart of the poster. First, that coffee cultivation does experience a significant feminization trend, that in contrary, gender inequalities and the marginalization of women remain prevalent in coffee cultivation. And thirdly, that the feminization of coffee cultivation does exist in narratives, but that it is really a proposive construct which actually neglects realities of female farmers. So those three narratives show lots of overlaps and refer to each other. And this is also why the narratives somehow are entangled with each other on the poster. However, there is a fourth stream that does not address the existence or non-existence of a feminization trend, which would indicate some kind of development over time, but evaluates gender effects in a status quo situation on different areas of interest. So therefore one could argue that this stream represents an increasing acknowledgement that gender matters with regards to social, economic, or ecological outcomes. Now the comparative table of narratives one to four reveals more of the internal structure of the narratives. And I would like to draw your attention to some points. So maybe you can already notice that narrative four is somehow structured differently from the other three narratives. It shows slightly different symbols representing another focus, while the other three appears somehow more homogeneous. And secondly, narrative four is the only narrative specifically attributing an environmental agenda to the promotion of gender equality, while narratives one to three focus on a social and or economic agenda. And by the way, most frequently observed attributes appear in a darker shade of this poster. In fact, most environmentally related topics such as gender and biodiversity or gender and climate change are addressed in rate of four. And narratives one to three more frequently refer to issues of agricultural production or rural development. And this logic is also to be observed throughout the other categories. Narrative four most frequently names ecosystems as potential beneficiaries of gender equality, while women for themselves are not highly rated as beneficiaries in this line. And in contrast, the other three narratives focus on social actors, such as women, households and families or cooperatives and communities. So there are many more things to say about these four narratives and this poster is providing only a first introductory and structuring overview, but I would be delighted to get in touch with you to discuss things, hear your comments and experiences during the conference. And you can also contact me anytime using the contact details on the poster button. And thank you for listening and hopefully see you around virtually.